Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Unwrap Poke. In today's episode, I'm going to be looking at some of the fake Pokemon cards that are available today. Um, I have three that are made from different companies, along with um, a comparison between a fake and real um, Sun and Moon booster packs. With these companies, um, you know, some of them are actually really good at imitating the real cards and some of them are actually just downright um, bad. For example, like this Lunala. It's, um, it looks pretty good, but <laughs> just from looking at this packaging, the color um, seems like a little bit faded and there's not a lot of con contrast um, to the card. And of course, there's literally no shine or any holographic um, on this card at all. So let's take a look at this. And all of these are brand new. Um, brand new fake Pokemon cards. But I think these are one of my um, the least favorite. And as you can tell, it's for example this Solgaleo. It's very, <laughs> it's not shiny at all. And the paper seems very flimsy. And looking from the back, you can tell it's not, um, it's a little bit in person is a little bit, you know, um, faded, and you can definitely tell it's a fake Pokemon cards. Same thing with this one, the full art version. Very plain, no textures, and Incineroar, Lapras, and this one is just a very light blue. card that looks very fake in person. So all of these are very bad at um, very bad compared to the actual cards. So let's see. Yeah. Now in this batch um, they were actually a little bit better. Um, for example, however <laughs> however this one is pretty bad because um, there is no name on the top um, left hand corner. It should be Lunala, but they just left out the name. And these were the one that I got from um, when I did my opening of Fake Booster Box. But as you can see, they are holographic, sort of, and they do have some sort of shine to them. And I would say these looks pretty pretty good in person look at that and looking from the back now that's the only time when you can tell it's a fake right away because this particular batch um, the back is very shiny it has like this sheen to it as you can see compared to a real Pokemon card it doesn't have this and look at this Umbreon very nice, shiny. Once again, Lapras is a little bit better than the, the other Lapras that we looked at. And this Tauros, boy, do I gotta tell you, this is a very good looking fake Pokemon cards. Let me show you what it looks like compared to a, um, a real Tauros uh, GX card. So, what I have here is a real Taurus GX and a fake Taurus GX. Now can you tell which one is the real one? Well if you guess the one on my left, um, you're correct. But just by looking at them right off the bat, it's really kind of hard to tell the difference. But if you look closer, the real one is actually... The art is a little bit different on the top. And it goes very... The edges goes all the way to the outside versus the fake one where it's kind of inward a little bit and it seems like the real Tauros actually is shifted up by a little couple centimeters versus the fake one and in person Tauros actually seem a little bit bigger as well compared to this one and looking from the back 
almost similar. But the contrast on this card is a little bit darker compared to the real one. And also the lettering as well. See how this is, this is a little bit bolded? And the real one is not. But they look pretty good. I also have an Umbreon that is the real one compared to a fake Umbreon. Looks almost identical. And once again, the fake Umbreon is gonna be a little bit smaller than the actual, the real card. But it does mimic the holographic look, which is awesome. So once again, these um, fake cards from this batch are pretty good. And look how many Taurus GXs there are <laughs> that I got from the booster packs. I actually got all of these, like each fake booster packs comes with a GX card. And here's a sample of the Espeon GX. It's very nicely done. And Unfortunately for the full art versions, they are pretty bad at mimicking the texture because there's none and you really can't, you know, you can definitely tell it's a fake just by looking at this um, particular full art uh, Solgaleo. But this one is, um, looks pretty good compared to the real one. The said UI. And gumshoe. And these are a different um, type of cards. Um, they're from a different company. These feature mostly EXs, while the other two feature um, GXs from the new um, sets. So these might be a little bit older, but just from looking at them, they the front looks pretty good, but the back just. Um, Looks okay, it's almost, I can almost tell it's a fake, but let's open, um, let's open them up and see how they actually look by um, individual cards. Alright, let's see. They feel a little bit flimsy as well. And this one definitely has a miscut on the back. So, Zonius EX, a little bit flimsy, but the car looks pretty good in person. Dancy, once again the back, looks pretty good, but it's still a, a pretty much a big, um, a big obvious a, um, miscut right there. Forgus. Gardevoir and these are holographics so you can actually tell it has a pretty good shine on the card actually all the cards AG slash and this one looks pretty nice all of these actually looks pretty nice <laughs> Chevinat Halucha Grand Ninja look at that Pretty nice Grand Ninja. Del Fox. Chasnot. Victini EX. White Kyrim. White Kyrim again. Black Kyrim. Another black Kyurem and just regular Kyurem EX. And man, this car looks good. But you can tell it's fake. Definitely. 
And the card seems like it has this little almost matted um, look in the center. Zekron, Rishiram, Genesec, Vandorus, Tornadus, Thunderous, Caldeo. Caldeo is pretty good. Terrakian. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> Caldeo again. Rear Scion. Alright, so let's just keep going with all these EXs. Dragon. Crocodile EX. Palkia. It's a pretty nice Palkia card. The Gauda, Garantina, Shaman, Regigigas, Cresselia, Darkrai, EX. It's a pretty good looking card. Toxic Croak. Cario, Mega Venusaur. So this is one of our first fake Mega Evo Evolution card. Looks pretty good. Mega Cross. So all these are the Mega Evolution cards. And a Mega Charizard. Yeah. And with these particular fake cards, um, they actually give you the the number. And of course, from this one, this would be a secret rare Mega Charizard, or at least a fake Mega Charizard, compared to this batch of fake Pokemon cards um, where they actually don't give you a um, actually they do give you the rarity but the cards that come from these booster boxes it's uh, really funny I gotta tell you because some of them the names are like way off but for example this doesn't give you the rarity on the cards at all they give you the number, but they don't give you the the rarity if it's common or uncommon. And these bash like names would be off. Like, oh, let me show you. So, for example, we have a gold duck, but obviously. The name is Sandial. So they have a lot of um, cards that are like, you know, way off. Like, for, like, here's another one. It's, you know, Sharpedo, but it's the name is saying Aranguru. So all of these were from my, um, my opening of fake, the Fake Booster um, box. From my previ uh, previous video and so each booster packs gave me a GX card so this particular company um, you know they actually give you a whole bunch of like you know generic cards but some of them the name is just crazy you know Aranguru and uh, Sandile as Golduck but it's, uh, but some of the GX's card from this company is actually pretty good anyway, so... So for this batch, I would say they are... It's pretty good. There's no obvious, you know, um, signs that will show you that this is, you know, these are fake cards, but 
they just have holographic all around. I know some cards have like a weird holographic pattern, which you can tell is, you know, a definitely a fake. And let's open up this one. And I think there are a hundred of these fake cards from this batch altogether. Blastoise, Articuno. Chomp, Magnum, Heatran, Grodon. So all of these cards looks pretty good in person. But I would say they're not as shiny as the, um, the original cards. They look pretty good. And I think after I'm done with these, I'm gonna um, kind of put them in a frame, like a full size poster frame. And I'll just make like a really nice, um, you know, poster out of all of these cards. And I'll probably line them up side by side and try to see if I could fit them to a I don't know, the typical um, 26 by 30 something inches uh, poster frame and Mega Charizard. That looks nice. So yeah, these are actually pretty good. I think these comes in, each pack is 100 cards. So 100 fake EXs um, and evolution cards. Which I'm pretty, you know, pretty happy that I bought these because these looks really nice. Look at these. They look amazing. And I think once I put them up in a poster, they look even more amazing together. So there you go. So let's take a look at the booster packs. So this is a fake booster pack from the Sun and Moon. And this is the real version. And I might as well just unwrap both of these, right? As you can see, the real booster packs has the art going all the way up to the foil, while the fake one kind of stop at the um, near the top. And the coloring is a little bit different as well. Seems like there's more contrast on the fake one versus the real booster pack. Let's take a look at the back. Same thing. The art goes, or the color and the art goes all the way to the top and the bottom. While the fake one just kind of stop at the, this upper part and the lower part. Now with the fake booster pack, it says that it comes with 10 additional game cards, but there's actually already only 9 in the pack. And it's usually 1 GX's um, per fake um, booster pack. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get inside. In our first card we have a Prime Arena. Bombi, which is two rares. Rock and Roller, Lantern, which is another rare, so there's three rares already. Croco Croc, Lotrix, Toy Cat, Scoutland, and the fake and the fake GX is juicy face the other way. And it's a, a um, Soul Galio card. And as for the real one, a 
let's see what I get. Poliwag. Paris. Jincho. Alone Ratata. Rock and Roller. Spinda. Reverse Hollow. Pinsir. Ochaball. Bodor. Cloister. Rare. And a. And I think that's it. <laughs> So only one reverse hollow for this pack. And closer is our our rare. So fake boot Pokemon cards, real Pokemon cards. This one this particular pack is um, shiny versus the non shinier version of the real Pokemon cards. And that's it. And here's the code card for today's episode. And thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please hit the like and also subscribe if you haven't done so. And check out my other videos on the upper and left hand corner. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.